Hi YouTube, it's Rick Arter. Uh, it's March 7th. Just want to give you guys a little update on the CM Stacker and tell you guys what I'm up to here. As you can see, uh, I believe the last video I made, uh, everything was in the case and now it's not because I'm redoing everything. So as you can see, sitting up on top here we have the two uh, Scott Cooler Master silent 120 millimeter fans which are going to be mounted in the front in place of the two uh, Antec LED 120s which um, I'm not going to tell you exactly where those are going to be mounted you'll see in the next video that I put out and basically what else we got going on here turn this around to the front <coughs> uh, basically front panel I mounted back on top because I like it there and I removed all the USBs and everything else just for now I know you guys are going to be like why would you remove it that was the coolest part of the case or that w that's what made the whole front but I didn't really use any of the stuff I didn't even have them hooked up so for now just for wire management purposes and just until I get everything in so I can get everything in and out quick I took them off which it was a bitch it took me about 15 minutes just to get that damn thing apart uh, next down here we have our three fan controller which uh, there's another video where I had this in my other case uh, if anybody ever saw that uh, let me get a close up at this so you guys can see basically there we go and then the wires come down here and it's just a Molex and three pins, the fans, well they're actually two pins but they fit for a three pin fan. Um, <clears throat> let's get this camera back here, right? There we go. Alright, then basically other than that, uh, on the front um, there's going to be the two 120s mounted at the bottom and I think we're going to do uh, the CD burner will be either on the very bottom very bottom here, or a mount m might mount higher up. Um, I'm not sure. You can see how everything works out. Basically, um, other things than that, I finally got my top fan in. Which here I'll show you guys that top fan is in. It is fully secured. It is an 80 millimeter blue LED, temperature controlled. <coughs> I got the here's the connector port right here, sorry. I'm not really good with this damn camera. And then we got the thermal probe, whatever you want to call that right there, which I'll put probably by the VRMs or the MOSFETs, or maybe by the RAM. And then what we have up here, which you guys saw in the last video, is 280mm fans, which I believe we're going to switch out one of those because, let me move this here, let me put this camera back up here. There we go. Because as you can see, we have a Cooler Master 80mm fan, which was at the top. That one is silent, but isn't too powerful. This is a thermal take fan, which is a little bit loud, and it has a 3-pin, but it's currently hooked up via Molex. Okay, and well, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the connector right there. The thermal take has a really short lead on it, so there's that. Uh, basically, what I want to do, I have a server fan. It's a Sunin 80 millimeter. Actually, let me. I wonder where that fan is. Oh, here we go. I got it inside the camera. Right now. As you can see, there's that. God, I'm terrible. There's that. And that I want to put in there because that's a Molex as well, and the leads are about the same. So I'll put this, um, put the thermal take. Well, I don't know what I'll do, but anyway, that's not the biggest deal. Basically, that's that, and um, I want to add another 80 millimeter fan down here at the bottom where this fan grill is. Power supply will go there. Somebody told me that they I should put my power supply with the intake facing up this way 
instead of sucking in from down here. Which, that'd be all good, but the way my wires come out of the power supply, that's going to make everything look a lot worse, because I just now figured out a way to get this thing wire managed. Uh, I think I'm going to create some kind of false wall type of thing here, just to cover all the wires. And even then, if I don't do that, I'm going to do something just to make it a little nicer. Maybe try to hide some of them in here somewhere. On this case, a top power supply would almost be a better idea, but... I saw, I actually just watched a video, I commented on it, and I think I subscribed to the guy, so if you guys want to check it out, it's uh, Stacker810, which I guess is just like mine, and he cut out this right here, drilled out all the rivets, and took this out, and then put a 480 radiator in here. I mean, this thing went from here all the way back, four 120s across, and I mean, it was, it was sexy. So, that is that. I'd love to remove this cage here, but I don't know if I'll do that. That's a lot of work that I really don't want to do. Other than that, uh, that is about it for now. Anybody have any comments or any ideas of things that I could do, let me know. If not, uh, check out my videos and subscribe if you like what you see. I've got many more videos like this. And... That is all for now. One last overview of the case here. Full tower case. There you go. That's it. More later, guys.